And meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party and its gubernatorial candidate, Isa Ashiru, has told the gubernatorial election petition tribunal that they will call no fewer than 25 witnesses in their petition. Counsel to the petitioner, Samuel Atung, disclosed this during the proceedings of the pre-hearing phase before the court's three justices in Kaduna. During the proceedings, he averred that 23 electoral officers were part of the witnesses to be presented before the court for examination in chief cross-examination and re-examination. It is for the tribunal to decide. They have filed their application. We've been given four days to respond to it. So I don't want to comment on the merit. The chairman of the three-man panel, Justice Victor Ubrawi, after extensive deliberations, allotted seven minutes to the examination in chief, 12 minutes to the cross-examination, while three minutes were allotted to the examination, respectively. However, counsels to the first respondent, which is the Independent National Electoral Commission, second respondent, Governor Ubasani and Sanusi Musa, and that of the third respondent, Mohammed Katsu, were at court as they all pleaded with the court for the service of an interpreter. Meanwhile, counsels in the matter adopted all answers documents filed against the court. Their prayers of wanting to uh, set aside the, uh, the victory of our client. So we also asked the court now to, st to strike out that reply. We have also informed the court that we have another application that we filed to seek the dismissal of their petition, even at the preliminary stage. We are basically complaining about non-compliance with the electoral act. Vote by massive. Anyway, they are already before the court. But these are the, in the petition we complained about the non-compliance with the electoral act. Essentially, that in our petition we. We have asked the court to find a hold that then validated the process, the entire process. We are asking for the nullification of the election on the basis of massive irregularities, non-compliance with the Electoral Act, and indeed acts of corruption in the process. The matter has been adjourned to the 15th of May 2023 for the hearing of all applications that have been filed and those yet to be filed.